most emotional part was when I saw the license plate. I knew it was the car, so it didn't matter anymore. I had the license plate. William Hotelling Jr. went missing back in March. Two weeks later, investigators found his body naked, floating in the river. Then late Tuesday night, hope came in the form of a YouTuber known as Exploring with Nug. After searching in the Center Hill Lake, something caught his eye. And I saw something that just caught my eye. There. I mean, I, it's got, I think that's a car. It's upside down. It's laying just like a car would. So there's another look at it. That gives it away to me right there. That is, that is a car upside down. You can see the wheels. You can see the shadow. It looks just like a car. It was the car William was last seen in. This case is a little bit different. I got messaged on Facebook telling me that this there's a lady and uh, sadly her brother was found floating in a lake, local lake. Uh, he passed away. He died. They found him. He was dead. And uh, there's a lot of mystery behind it because he disappeared in his car. Now, he has been located. His body has, has been identified and has been sent home with the family. But... There's no understanding of how he died. Was it murder? Was it suicide? Was it a mental breakdown? Who knows? Accident even. But the car is missing, and that's why we're involved in this case. She asked me if we could locate the car. So I'm going to the most obvious spot, the lake, and we're gonna search a couple boat ramps. Uh, there's a very good chance that maybe he wrecked off one of these boat ramps, or he drove in on purpose. We just don't know. And, uh, and, and you know, he floated out or he got out. Either way, <clears throat> the car is still missing. So that's what we're here for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scour this lake we're at really good. I got Adam Brown with me again. He's gonna be helping me out throughout the day. And hopefully we find this car and there's some clues in this car that could uh, tell us what happened uh, to William. So uh, we already got the boat in the water. So let's just get this day going really quick. See if we can find this car. Collins. body was found in the water floating two tenths of a mile away seriously large bait balls man did it say when he was reported missing like she was march so it's march what are we at a a so it's only been like a month it's been like a, been like a week since he was uh, i know i didn't say that say so if a car is underwater for a month if, if man, let's say he was in the trunk do you th maybe the car, maybe something corroded, mouth, you know, maybe for some reason the, the trunk sprung open. That's that's my work there. If the car's out here. I mean, yeah. I mean, know, criminals are stupid. He could have been like mugged, stuffed in the trunk, and the car dumped, and he yeah. popped out. Or he was dumped here, and they took the car somewhere else to get chopped I mean, up. I've, or... I've heard of like, you know, I guess even seen like shows, I don't know how real it is, but when you get mugged, just robbed, sometimes they tell you to strip naked. Like they want to make sure you don't have any weapons or anything on, on you or steal all your stuff. Yeah. So we scanned the first boat ramp really good. There's nothing out there. Uh, we scanned way out. It's like 80 feet deep out in the middle. Not a thing. So we're pretty confident there's not a car off that boat ramp. But we're going to cruise down to another boat ramp, see if we can find any like dirt roads or some access points that people really don't know about that's not local. And we'll check that out and see what we can find. We just got to the next boat ramp, and uh, I mean, I, I'm used to seeing tires everywhere, right? But look at this. That is a literal mountain of tires underwater. That's just bad. But man, I've never seen a mountain of tires before. Ew. It's got, I think that's a car. It's upside down. It's laying just like a car would. It's, 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 it's the right length, right place. I think it's a car. I think we got ourselves a car. I trust you. Whether it's if it's, it's upside down, it's, it's laying like not. that. That means the butt's in the air. We'll have a tag. Yeah. It'll be very easy to identify it. It'll have logos on it. Logos or decals. But uh, we'll see. I definitely want to go over it 20 more times. Yeah, we're gonna, I think it's too messy. Uh, so there's another look at it. That gives it away to me right there. That is that's a car upside down. You can see the wheels. You can see the shadow. Looks just like a car. That's a car, 100% a car. Let's hope 
This is the car we're looking for. It's 30 feet. There's the car, so let's back up. All right, I just got the magnet stuck on the car, and it's, it's 25 feet? Right here's 32, actually. 30, oh, okay. Yeah. It's deeper than yesterday. You scared? But it stuck really well. I'd be scared. Um, I still got most of my tank from yesterday, so we're pretty close. I guess we can- Pretty much, this is an identifying the car thing. Yeah. I mean, like, figure it out. I mean, you can swim around it all you want, but there's there's not a suspected missing person unless, right, unless there was somebody else stuffed somebody in else, there. But. Yeah, yeah. But it's upside down, you said. Yes, definitely upside down. Engine's down, the, the butt's up. It's gonna be super, you can swim right to the butt. Okay. And it'll be super easy to rig, like if, we, if, they, if, they, if they decide to pull it out today. We have a car confirmed, upside down. Yep. Super easy to find underwater, the water's clear. So, uh, cut and dry. I would just say suit up. The nose is straight up, so you'll be able to see everything right there. So, uh, we should have answers pretty quick. We're looking for, what, a 2013 Silver Impala? And, uh, and that's about it. Yep. If there's a tag on it, rip the tag off, or see if you can get the tag off. Yeah, do we know the number? I think it should be online, but if it's a Silver Impala, Silver I mean, that's the car. Yeah, pretty, sure. yeah, pretty good chance it's a car we're looking for, but... Yeah, we'll figure the tag out in a minute. But I say suit up and then get to diving. Sound good? Sounds good. Sweet. All right, man, the water is a comfy 60 degrees, so shouldn't be cold at all. Adam is in the water. He's heading to the buoy right now. It's gonna drop down. It's about 30 feet deep. And uh, he's gonna have answers really quick. four three h6 you gave me the thumbs up that's the car so let's figure out white or silver Chevy Chevy Impala I couldn't see an emblem but got the plate and it's upside down All the windows are up, the trunk's open. Dude. I pulled some of this stuff out. There's probably a shoe floating around here somewhere. There's a lot of other stuff in the back. All the windows are up at the trunk. The trunk's open. There's a plastic bag in here. I don't know if that was like put around his head or what. Well, definitely 
let's see, get out, get undressed, put that stuff somewhere, and I wouldn't touch it again. Because it's definitely a crime scene. You know? Yeah. Wow, wow, good job. So I know we were talking before we dove this that since he just ended up with no clothes floating around, like maybe he was in the trunk and somebody sent him his car into the water because all the windows and doors are closed and up, it looks like. And then the back trunk's wide open and there's a bunch of stuff back there, but. That's gotta be, there's no other explanation to how he would have gotten out of that car. Clothes, I grabbed some of them. I grabbed this towel. This bag was weird to me because it was just floating. I'm like, I don't know if this was wrapped around his head maybe, which is really eerie. There's some stuff in there, it's nasty. Yeah, I don't know. But I got the plate, so I guess next step now is to call. We'll let, let well, yeah, yeah, place. we're gonna call, we're gonna get them all down here and let them know we found the, the missing piece. That's gotta be straight murder. I mean, it's gotta be. There's no other explanation I, for it. I don't it. see any other explanation. No. Because if he was in that car, the trunk's the only thing that's open. Yeah, he and was in the trunk. You can't that trunk from the inside, I don't think. Maybe, but I don't think so. There was so much stuff in there. I don't know why he would, that's, it's why, why, creepy. even if he was trying to get out, why is he naked? Why was he naked? Yeah, yeah that's another thing. A bunch of clothes in the back seat and bags and there's other stuff in there, so. We got the plate, which is proof enough, and we can 100% match that. Dang. See? Let's make some calls. All right. Oh, it's not a, it's not a Impala, it's a Malibu. Wow. Cleo Yeah, Central. Hello, I'm wondering if you can send a uh, police officer out to me. We're at the Cookville Boat Dock. You're at the Cookville Boat Dock? Yes. And what's going on there? Do you remember um, William Hoftailing? His body was recovered in the lake a few days ago. Are you familiar with that case? Yes. Uh, we, uh, me and my friend found his car in the, in the lake. Uh, found the car in the lake? Yes. Okay. All right. He'll be giving you a call just shortly. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. If they want us to help them rig it up, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, that's cool offered. Yeah, yeah definitely. It, up. it sounds like they might need us too. Definitely need to explain to them what you saw, though, yeah. because anything in that trunk could be the key. Right. You know, to that's put. That's why I think we shouldn't. We need. I need to dive down there and like remove what I can. Yeah. There's, there's stuff in bags, like closed bags, and it looks like there's a big box full of like toiletries, maybe. I don't know. And there's probably a shoe floating somewhere nearby because the shoe shot out. But it's, yeah. It's everything's kind of perched delicately underneath because the trunk didn't open. I don't think until touch the bottom because the stuff's still on there if it if it, if it opens so nothing's wall, in the mud nothing well not that I, I didn't look search really really well because my hands were kind of full with the plate yeah um I mean, we i think we should put the boat back in the water that's then, what i think yeah and at least wait and see what they say and then yeah. maybe we can take the boat out there and then uh i, can, I mean you can just can come just up and up. down and then just start dumping stuff into the boat yeah that way we don't lose anything we'll see what they say yeah uh, how you doing, How's it going, How's it going bro? oh pretty good the grad down here if you want to look at this is all i could pull out for now so what uh are you with the you the atbi do are you gonna want us to help float it and get over here or do you have your own dive team and all that so we don't actually have like a dive team on standby i mean we can get some i mean what kind of do you guys have everything we can we can totally do it um <clears throat> thing is we're, we uh from what he described and what we saw in the sonar there's a lot of obstacles sure. so we we want to, you'd want to float it and uh which we can do uh but uh like if the tow truck's already on its way we could probably get started now and float it and get it over here and then the tow truck would just pull it up the ramp and be done with it you know, how many floats you got you doing four and, and trying to do as is or do you do two and try to uh with this one we'll do a one side get it'll it'll float up on its side mm -hmm. and then we'll just pull it over here and get it at the right angle so when he pulls it it'll drop down on its wheels okay. and then it should come right up in theory I got D-ring on each one. Okay. So I gotta do is just clip the D-ring, put the D-ring through that the loop. Do this one. 
hook it through this one. The hose is at the top, this one's at the bottom. That way we can air it up nice and easy. Now, there's that. Don't drop it. That's the one you're clicking it to. Members, keep it on the same side, front wheel, back wheel. Okay. Good? Alright. Hook up the rear first. And then uh, when you have it hooked up, give me a tug. Are you going to come all the way back up first? Okay. Did you get it? Yeah. So start airing it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, well, so where is it? Huh? Where's the, where's the nose? Yeah. Okay, well, the, well, don't be over it. Yeah. Don't be over it. <laughs> well, there it is. I got it hooked up where I want it. Now it's just. I just want to, when it gets close, figure out what side's under, you know, underneath. Yeah. So we'll be able to hook it up and it'll just pull it right on its wheels. You know what I mean? Yeah.
again. I was listening to the sister talk. They thought, they were, they thought this was suicide. And I'm like, I didn't I didn't want to talk to her about it. I was like, I don't I don't know if that's accurate, but I didn't want to tell her that, you know. I'll let it drain a little a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. Uh, we, I mean, we found the car, floated it, got it over to the boat ramp, we didn't get it to land on all of its wheels, so they had to flip it. Wasn't a big deal, none of the windows broke, except I think the roof, uh, the sliding glass window on the roof broke. Not too sure though. But there could be speculation, that's how he got out of the car and he just drowned trying to, trying to swim to the shore. Um, I honestly think if this was my case, I would really start thinking into that he was in the trunk of that car because the trunk was open and all the windows were up. Uh, that's just, just, I don't know, it just it seems very fishy, you know, but I don't know the guy, I don't know what he's into. All I know is I'm really glad we found the car and uh, hopefully that will be able to bring some answers to the family on what happened to him because right now it's a big mystery, nobody knows. So um, stay tuned, hopefully I'll find out some more pieces of this puzzle and I'll let you guys know what I do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos of us helping out family members, bringing closure to these loved ones because they need help and we're here to help them. Either way, my name is Jeremy, I'm glad you guys joined me and I will see you on the next adventure.